Good morning everybody, Ryan here. We are headed out to the top of the field up here out at my place because Andrew Tucker just pulled in as well as their custom airflow John Deere spreader. So we're gonna go up to the top of the field and check them out. So I guess this is always, at least to me, the signs showing the beginning of spring because once the spreader starts heading out to the field, once we start getting down our fertilizer for the year, to me, that's the start of field work, even if we aren't the ones doing it. <laughs> so we're gonna follow them around. Um, right now they're putting down our nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, our N, P, and K. And uh, up here on top of the hill, if you guys will remember, last fall, we cleaned up a lot of the manure out, out at my place. And as a result, on top of the hill, there is quite a bit of manure that is out there. Um, are we changing our fertilizer program to compensate for that? No, uh, I don't believe so. We're not getting that high tech um, to figure out what we put out there. We, you'd have to take more soil tests and um, we're not really getting that high tech since we didn't cover that much area with the spreaders out here. Down at Travis's place, we covered the whole 40 in manure. Um, and that's probably gonna make a difference, but since that is usually a little bit more deficient in the nutrients, um, I figure that we aren't really hurting by not compensating for it anyway, just keeping on applying the same amount of fertilizer because uh, the 40 out there typically yields lower than our average yield across all the farms. So Andrew got his brand new truck. Dang, he got the new 2020 Chevrolet. Pretty cool truck. Up until recently, I wasn't much of a coffee drinker, but last night I went out and bought a coffee pot and uh, made myself a pot of coffee this morning. And let me tell you, the second I got up this morning and I uh, made some coffee, I've been bouncing off the walls ever since. First thing I did was go down to my computer and start started doing some paperwork. My fingers flew across the keyboard. So now we're sitting here with Andrew and uh, we're watching it go around. So how many pounds of the acre are we putting down? On this farm, we're putting down 400 pounds to the acre. 400 pounds? What's yeah. the mix that we're doing? It's uh, urea, AMS, and potash, and MAP. So we're getting phosphorus with the MAP, potash, uh, potassium with the potash, ammonium, sulfate, your uh, sulfur, and nitrogen, and then urea. So because this is corn on corn this year, uh, we're putting um, 78 pounds to the acre of nitrogen in the form of urea. Uh, we're not going to do as much side dressing as we have done in the past on the contours. Uh, we're just trying to um, manage our nitrogen really well, but still uh, manage the terrain that we have to work with here in Wisconsin. So I'm a huge fan of wide drops, huge fan of side dressing, but um, uh, we, as I experienced last year, even with wide drop, and there's challenges to mm -hmm. it on some of the terrain. So this year we've chosen any of the terrain that is good for side dressing whether it's wide drops or urea that's the way we're going to go um, the rest of it we're doing a blend of uh, um, liquid nitrogen uan and urea to get our nitrogen down cool so is this like a brand new spreader or is this the one that crop max had had this is brand new this it is year. brand new yeah cool. it's brand spanking new um you know and we've been here with spinners in the past too we've, we've used both airflows and spinners i know travis really you know, when looking at the way a spinner does versus the airflow, he felt really justified paying a little extra to get the airflow out here. And I agree, it's it's a very accurate system. Um, it's less variable when you get windy conditions and different things on uh, slopes. It's very accurate. Mm -hmm. Plus, you have the ability to shut off one boom. So whereas a spinner, it's basically all or nothing. The airflow has a left and right. So you got 35, two 35 foot sections on this machine.
finished spreading out at my place. So now we're moving over to one of Travis's farms. And it looks like the Bartleses are making some headway, making fence. It's definitely looking better by the day, that's for sure. the first time I've gotten a close look at one of these. Looks like the engine compartment's made for a Duramax. <laughs> said that's a 6.6 though. Should be the same size as mine, right? Six point six. Wow. So it's got the hood scoop, but it's not an actual hood scoop? <laughs> yeah. Really? I wonder if they just use the same hood for all trucks. Yeah, for both trucks. That makes sense. Huh. I was gonna say, I was kind of surprised by that. I think everybody just likes the style of the hood scoop. Probably. Looks classy. It's a nice truck. Yeah, it is. I'm not crazy about the mirrors. No, they're kind of cheap. Yeah. Yours is, yours is different. Mirror. Yeah. Well, it is what it is. It's still a nice truck. Oh, yeah. I can't complain at all. Yeah, the window's yeah, down. That. That's cool. <laughs> you can't put them up, though. You gotta... No? <laughs> oh, come on. Really? You'd think that that button would do all of them. Right. To me, it would make more sense to put it over by the window controls. Right. One thing I wish you could customize those buttons, the I order know. of them. Yeah. Because like in my truck, the ones that I use the most are like the furthest away from me. I got the only silver one. The other guy's got boxes. What is it with you and silver I trucks? I don't know. I don't pick it. All of your trucks have been <laughs> silver. Well, I did pick this one because Dean asked which one of us wants the silver one. <laughs> I was like, well, I've always had silver, so I might as well keep it. At this point, it's just like distinct. Yeah. get started spreading on this field of Travis's. Since this field is going to get side dressed, there is not any urea in this mix. Do you think you can do in one load? Um, it all depends on the rate. Um, 40 ish. Okay. Somewhere in there, 35. At the other farm, we did uh, 41 acres with both bins full, so that was 400 pounds per acre. What rate is this? 250 now? Or is it still 400? Uh, 315. I want to give Kyle a thanks for letting me ride along with him, even in this time of social distancing. And after he's finished at Travis's place there, um, they plan on hitting up British, which is 
down along 61 by Travis's place and then going up to Burton as well. Um, and if they can, they're going to swing up and hit Rockville as well and hopefully get all of the spring fertilizer application done with. Now with the fertilizer spread, we can come through and start doing some tillage. There are a couple of waterways that we need to disc in on a couple of farms, and um, those were pretty unavoidable last year. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All Hot Farms working with that. I'll see you next time.